Welcome to the Portal 2 bunny hopping tutorial. Real quick, we're going to go over a couple of quick console commands. The most common of which is bind M wheel and then either up or down and then the value plus jump. This makes it so that when you scroll your scroll wheel on your mouse, you input jump inputs. This makes it much easier to time when you're supposed to jump when you land on the ground. You can see up in the top left, I have a counter of how many frames I'm standing on the ground for. So ideally you want that number to be as low as possible. Next, I'm gonna talk real quick about what's in the top left. Um, I have a velocity showing and I have the number of ground frames I'm on showing. I will link in the video description to the Portal 2 setup tutorial. There I will go over how to set up SAR and these commands are SAR commands. So we have SAR HUD ground frames and we have SAR HUD velocity and it's two right now. Two is rounding all the different components of velocity together. So it just shows one average speed. Next, I have SAR IHUD, three. I have my specific button color, and then I have the set position, bottom left. This is allowing you guys to see my keyboard inputs in the bottom left, and they will correspond to the movement in game. To understand bunny hopping, you first have to understand basic strafing, and that involves knowing how speed works in Portal 2. Without moving your mouse, walking in one direction will cap you at 175 units per second. If you go from one to the other, you can make that slightly higher. When you start to move your mouse, however, you can see there's an in increase in speed. So these basic concepts are what we build bunny hopping on top of. This increase of speed, while useful, has the obvious drawback of not allowing the player much control over where they move. This is one of the main reasons that we tie the strafing mechanic in with jumping as our primary method of movement in Portal 2. The other main reason being how the game handles movement in the air. Because the Portal series is designed with all sorts of in-air momentum showcases in mind, the game allows you to go much faster in the air than you can on the floor, to the point where transitioning from being airborne to being on the ground will slow your speed down to that previously mentioned speed cap. I'll show this off real quick with no clip. By using the strafing mechanic, in combination with the much lower speed cap in the air, we're able to quickly gain speed with just basic movement options. Jumping and jumping accurately is the key to maintaining speed. As we discussed earlier, you'll want to bind it to a mouse wheel. Using any sort of external script or auto jumping is forbidden in all categories. To practice, I'll just go ahead and jump and hold W. This is a decent way of sort of training your finger on the mouse to be used to scrolling when you're about to land. While you can use something like free scroll with the G502, it's not recommended as it becomes impossible to do bunny hopping in co-op with that many scroll inputs. The best practice for bunny hopping, which will translate well between single player and cooperative, is to do small amounts of jump inputs accurately. Let's revisit air strafing for a moment. Earlier, I talked about how much quicker you can move in the air. Control is difficult in the air, however, and it's common to be confused by this when you're starting the game. Here, I'm gonna walk off, hold W, and try and make my way over to this platform. As you can see, I barely moved it. Let's try the same thing. We'll move off using W and then switch to entirely using our A and D keys for left and right strafes. You can see immediately how much farther I get. While in the air, holding W does virtually nothing to aid your movement. The combination of swiping your mouse smoothly and moving one of the two direction keys in tandem is what gives you this speed. Holding W while trying to do bunny hops will only slow down your bunny hops and prevent you from achieving any real speed. A good practice would be to do this map. The map link will be in the description. Practice strafing the side and make sure your mouse movements are smooth. Oftentimes, runners will use a sensitivity that's way too high for their use case, and they won't be able to smoothly sw swipe their mouse. The smooth mouse movement is a key. You don't want quick and fidgety mouse movements while you're bunny hopping. Here's a quick example of having way too fidgety a mouse movement. To get comfortable with the idea of strafing in the air, you can always try hopping in a circle. As you get a hang of hopping in the circle, you'll start to notice something. Once your velocity approaches about 300 units per second, you begin to lose control. In an effort to nerf bunny hopping compared to previous source games, Valve limits the amount of strafe control you have in the air once you reach 300 units per second. This both makes it harder to reach high speeds in Portal 2 and harder to control your movement. 
We'll talk more about that later, but for now, get comfortable with clean swipe movements in tandem with your A and your D. Once you're starting to feel more confident with your clean movement, you're ready to start going back and forth. Maybe do a few hops to the left, transition that to a few hops to the right, and get used to trading back and forth between the two. After a while, this will become more natural, and you can start to work on combining the two. This method is normally referred to as single strafe hops. Their only real application is for practice, but using these single strafe hops is a great way to learn. I start by moving forward, press D, do a strafe, jump, press A, do a strafe, jump, and then transition. Getting used to strafing like this can take a long time. Don't feel discouraged if it's taking you a lot of time and practicing this to get it down. This is one of the hardest tricks in Portal 2 to get used to. If you're having trouble, here are the first two things you should check. Check your strafe sync. Strafe sync refers to your synchronization when swiping the mouse left and moving left and swiping the mouse right and moving right. A common pitfall for people trying to learn bunny hopping is they will invert this. Pressing the right strafe key and strafing to the left, vice versa, will lead to you going backwards. I'll show that off real quick. Another common issue, as mentioned earlier, is your mouse movements are not smooth enough. Get comfortable with making larger, more sweeping motions. Avoid hopping quickly between one side and the other. In the description, in the links below, we'll have a link to the wiki, where the bunny hopping page there will go over all the steps you can take to quickly record yourself and ask for help. The easiest ways to ask for help are to set up iHUD like I have in the bottom left here and record yourself bunny hopping. Another quick and more efficient way is to record a demo. Recording demos is simple. Just type record and then the name of the demo. I'll use demo as an example. Our demo is now recording. I can go ahead and hop. Then type stop in console. And this will be located in my portal2 slash portal2 folder for my game installation. Also linked below will be a video by a baby where he goes over very similar information with a more visual presentation, including a 3D rendered mouse showing the different mouse movements. This is great if you need a more visual look at how bunny hopping works. Learning all of what I've gone over so far will likely take you a long time, but let's say that you've finally gotten it down and are ready to move to the next step. Let's move to more traditional bunny hopping, where we fit more than one strafe per hop. Before, we were doing one strafe per hop. Now we're gonna try and start with two. Before, we were doing this. Now, let's move to something more like this. Hop sync gets more difficult at this level, but it also becomes much more efficient. For most standard hops, players will typically do two strafes. The number of strafes get higher and higher as you gain more and more speed, as the speed cap causes each individual strafe to do less and less. So as runners pick up speed, they will transition from larger, more impactful strafes to quicker and faster strafes. While I'm the one giving the tutorial, I am not the best bunny hopper. Visiting a website like board.iverb.me, or in the future, board.portal2.sr, the link will be in the description, check out some of the videos and demos from other runners. The best way to learn is from the best of the best. Runners like Zype, Rex, Jetwash, and Melon are examples of runners that have very accurate hops. To download their demos, check out a run of theirs on the boards for a map like Turret Factory, throw that demo file into your Portal 2 Portal 2 folder, as shown earlier, and just type the play demo command in console. You can use SAR iHUD in demos as well, and you can slow down the demos to see in more detail what the runners are doing. We'll have a follow-up video in the future detailing more information about advanced tactics. For now, I want to go over a relatively simple one in low detail. You can see I've brought up my angle overview. While specific numbers won't be provided, we're going to go over wall strafing where angle is important. Wall strafing likely has the best difficulty to speed ratio and that it's not very difficult and you can gain a lot of speed. Reminder that walking forward gives you 175 units per second. Now if we do a wall strafe, we simply look inward at the wall and walk forward while holding the key that would press us up against the wall. In this case, that would be A. 
you can immediately see that we're gaining more speed. Changing the angle against the wall will give you different values of speed. Some values are faster than others, and we plan to have more information in the future about specific values, but give it a shot in game and get a feel for where to look. A good way to transition this is with speed wall strafing. Speed wall strafing is a similar but almost inverse idea. Typically, it started off with a wall strafe, and then you transition that wall strafe into hops. Once you do this, you let go of the W key and you move instead to look away from the wall at a very similar angle that you were before, but in the opposite direction. As you can see, hopping like I would if I were bunny hopping gives me an incredible amount of speed with very little effort. Particularly in maps with rails guiding your path, runners will often use speed wall strafes in opposition to bunny hopping for quick and more reliable speed. We plan to have a more in-depth video on circle jumping in the future, but I want to cover the concept here really quickly. Circle jumping is not a great name for what we do. Not to be confused with counter-strike, but pre-strafing would be a more accurate term. The basic idea of a circle jump is it's something to start off your jumping pattern with. The most common way to do this is to hold both W and A. Watch what I do really quickly on the ground. Pressing W and A and strafing to the side gives me a quick burst of speed. The idea is roughly when I finish that W A on the floor, I jump and then strafe back to the right. This gives me a good amount of speed and effectively starts off a bunny hopping sequence. We'll go over more details on circle jumps in the future, including some hand cam footage and talking specifically about elevator circle jumps at the start of levels. But this is the basic idea, is you have a strafe in one direction and then you counter that strafe to correct your momentum forward. Another quick piece of tech is crouching. A bunch of research is being done by the Portal 2 team to find out more information about crouching. More information and research will be on the wiki article. Holding crouch while bunny hopping will give you about one unit of additional height. This can be advantageous for certain hop patterns and is often used in co-op. In single player exclusively, however, we have an even more useful technique. Often referred to as CTG, crouch toggle glitch is a glitch to guarantee that you hop on the exact perfect tick where you land on the floor. These are called tick perfect hops and they're very powerful and cause you to lose the least amount of speed every time you hit the ground. If you look at the ground frames on the top left, you can see that sometimes I have one and sometimes even higher amounts and that's the amount of time I spend on the floor. With crouch toggle glitch, you can get ground frames down to zero. The trick is as follows. For your starter or your circle jump, you typically want to hold crouch while you're jumping and then for your next hop, you will alternate that. You will let go of crouch, the next hop you will hold it again, and so on and so forth in this manner. So we're going to start off crouched, uncrouch, crouch, uncrouch, crouch, and as you can see, I'm gaining a ton of speed. On top of that, my ground frames counter is zero. Depending on who you ask, crouch toggle glitch can be an incredibly important tool, particularly for learning bunny hopping. While it's not simple to integrate into your hops, especially when you're learning, it can absolutely help you to overcome issues and limitations with your strafes. Really accurate strafe timing and jumping timing can almost negate the effects of crouch toggle glitch, but by and large, it's always recommended to be used in single player. Co -op, crouch co in co-op, crouch toggle glitch doesn't work at all. While practicing your bunny hops in-game is certainly a good way to get experience with bunny hopping, another good way would be to check out bunny hopping maps made specifically for bunny hopping. In the Portal 2 speedrun discord, after you verify, you can go to the bot spam channel and give yourself the b-hop roll. In the pinned messages for the b-hop channel, you'll find a list of good practice maps to play for bunny hopping. In future videos, we're looking to cover things like when to hop, hopping patterns, and more advanced tech and information about the game. Also look forward to a circle jumping tutorial in the future. Thank you guys for watching, and good luck with your hop.